How aggressively then do you think we should downgrade expectations of rate cuts in 2024? I think they've been pretty clear all along and they made it even clearer now that uh, they're going to stay roughly where they are for quite some time. The, the, the main ghost that they have hanging over them is what happened um, in the late 1970s, early 1980s uh, in the U.S. The last time inflation was this high, inflation came down, the Fed had raised rates, inflation came down, then they cut rates again and inflation really took off. And that's when they had to bring rates to double digit levels. That's the last thing they wanna do. They don't wanna lose credibility. They don't wanna to have to raise rates too much. So they're gonna err on the side of holding uh, tight, hanging tough for a while, even if the economy starts to slow, even if the unemployment rate starts to go up. Whether it's driven by, uh, let's move on to inflation expectations here, Andy, whether it's driven by harder charging unions, the wage disputes, food, energy, $100 barrel oil on the horizon once again, the drought affecting uh, Panama Canal on the supply side, is the inflation genie out of the lamp again? And how then does that change the calculus at the Fed? So what they're going to be looking at is, you know, are these one-time and one-off factors? So like something in the, the Panama Canal, certainly that'll put pressure on prices in the short run, but not in a sustained way, because they're looking at whether the price price level growth will be at, uh, come down to, in a sustained way to 2%. Um, they know that uh, oil prices can go up, they can go down. That's why they sometimes look at the so-called core or really focus on, on the core inflation rate that strips out the volatile food and energy sectors to see really where inflation is going over the longer horizon. But it's going to put pressure on them in the short run because exactly as you said, you know, if inflation starts to go back up and they say, oh, well, those are just one-off factors, we heard that before. <laughs> we heard that a year and a half ago that, oh, this is all transitory. And so... You know, they don't have a lot of credibility if inflation starts going up and they say, well, this is just, just transitory. So it's going to be tougher for them to, to bring, bring rates down. I don't think they'll bring them up much more. I think at most they'll do one more, uh, uh, one more rate hike. But um, they do have to worry about uh, losing their credibility given that they were kind of slow at the beginning to, to respond to these inflationary pressures. Yes, you'd think that the Fed would be a little bit gun-shy about inferring that things like higher oil prices are transitory, but obviously everything is transitory if you uh, take the view that it could be one month, it could be three months, it could be two years, it could be five years. Of course, things eventually pass. The question is, how long will oil prices stay high? What do you think on that front? How long do you think they'll stay high and contribute to inflation, Randy? And so, um, you know, it is, it's a relative price shift, so it's more expensive, um, uh, more expensive energy. Um, uh, certainly, it has a lot to do with the choices that the uh, the OPEC members, uh, the OPEC members make, and they've constricted supply. And given that U.S. economy is pretty robust, and a number of other economies are uh, powering through the uh, their central bank rate hikes pretty well, um, that means that energy prices are going to be sustained for a while. The key is where are they going to go from here? Are they going to go much higher? Will they come back down? Last year, everyone thought uh, energy prices would uh, would explode because of the, the war in the Ukraine, and uh, uh, and it turned out that that didn't happen. So I don't think we're going to see energy prices exploding. Not necessarily they're going to come down dramatically. But that's really what the Fed needs to worry about. If they continue to, to move up in, in a sustained and consistent way, that's when they have to respond. Mm.